Thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, you will learn how to write more purposeful and engaging character conversations by adding description to your dialogue. You'll do this using something called Action Beats. Lights, camera, action! Dialogue is an important part of story writing. Authors use it to develop characters and to move the plot forward, and create a more immersive and exciting reading experience. But be careful! Your story should not just be dialogue. One of the mistakes some young writers make is having too much dialogue and not enough narration. A page of back and forth conversation between characters soon gets dull to read. When people talk with one another, they don't usually stand still. They often move, gesture, or show other physical reactions to what is being said. Good writers are able to get this across. They do it by combining dialogue with description. Let's have a go at doing this now. We'll craft a conversation between the great detective Sherlock Holmes and Detective Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard, the headquarters of London's police. Lestrade needs Holmes's help on a case he has been unable to solve. Mr Holmes, I'm afraid we have a most puzzling case, Inspector Lestrade said. Not a particularly strong start, this. The dialogue tag Inspector Lestrade said doesn't give us any information about how Lestrade is feeling. So let's use an action beat. An action beat is a narrative description that interrupts the dialogue to show what the speaker is doing while they are talking. I'm simply going to use an ing verb to help me to do this. Mr Holmes, I'm afraid we have a most puzzling case, Inspector Lestrade said, furrowing his brow with worry. That's better. We now know how Lestrade is feeling. Pray do tell, Inspector. This story is set over a hundred years ago, and pray do tell is an old-fashioned way of asking for more information. I'm going to add some description before he says this, partly to make it clear that it was Sherlock Holmes who said it, and partly to give the reader an idea of how Holmes was feeling. Sherlock Holmes leant back in his armchair, his sharp eyes glinting with interest. Pray do tell, Inspector. We now know that Holmes is sitting down and is excited about the prospect of a new case. It is the case of the missing diamond, Lestrade began. The Countess of Morcar's blue carbuncle, to be precise. Once again, there is an opportunity to add some more description after the dialogue tag. Lestrade began. We'll use the ing verb technique again. It's the case of the missing diamond, Lestrade began, pacing back and forth in front of Holmes's desk. The Countess of Morcar's blue carbuncle, to be precise. This suggests that Lestrade is anxious and in a hurry to get this case solved. A valuable gem, no doubt, Holmes remarked. Let's add some more description after the dialogue tag. A valuable gem, no doubt, Holmes remarked, his fingers steepled in front of him. This tells us how Holmes is sat, and this hand gesture is often associated with someone who is deep in thought. Quite so, Lestrade confirmed. 
It was stolen from the Countess's hotel room. I will take the case, Inspector. But first, I require some information. This conversation could go on for a while, which might lose our reader's interest. Remember, dialogue should not put our story on pause and must help to move our story forwards. Let's add an action beat to help us to do this. Holmes stood up and strode purposefully towards the door. I will take the case, Inspector, but first I require some information. Great, we've got some movement. And now, rather than have our conversation continue, let's add a paragraph of narrative writing to take our characters to a new setting. Lestrade followed Holmes out of the room and into the bustling streets of London. As they made their way towards the hotel, Holmes asked a series of pointed questions about the circumstances of the theft. See how quickly we've changed scenes. Did the Countess notice anything unusual in the days leading up to the incident? He asked. Once again, after the dialogue tag is an opportunity to add some more description. Did the Countess notice anything unusual in the days leading up to the incident? He asked, his keen eyes darting from one passerby to another. This gives the reader further insight into Sherlock Holmes's character. We now know he is an observant and perceptive person who always pays close attention to his surroundings. Not that she mentioned, Lestrade replied, but we've interviewed all the hotel staff and guests and no one seems to have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary. A nice example of split speech here and another opportunity for us to use the ing-verb technique to add some extra description. Not that she mentioned, Lestrade replied, quickening his pace as they approached the hotel entrance. But we've interviewed all the hotel staff and guests and no one seems to have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary. This reinforces the sense of urgency Lestrade has. Rather than add more dialogue, let's continue with some more narrative. This will help speed up the action and get us quickly to the next setting, the scene of the crime, the hotel room. Holmes nodded, his mind racing with possibilities. As they entered the hotel room, he surveyed the scene with a practiced eye taking in every detail of the room. Interesting, he murmured. And what did the Countess have to say about this small blackened mark on the windowsill? This doesn't sound very realistic. I've tried to use dialogue to explain what Holmes has found, but it feels a bit forced. It's called expositional dialogue when authors do this, and it's considered poor writing. Let's have another go at this part. Interesting, he murmured, as he noticed a small blackened mark on the window sill. And what did the Countess have to say about this? That's better. It feels more natural to reveal what he spotted in an action beat. Lestrade looked puzzled. About what, Mr. Holmes? This, Holmes said, pointing to the mark. It appears to be a smudge from a candle wick, a clue, no doubt, to the thief's identity. Did you notice the ing-verb action beat after the dialogue tag? A useful technique, this. You're incredible, Mr. Holmes. How did you deduce that? OK, it's clear that Lestrade is impressed by Holmes's powers of deduction, but with a little more description, we can emphasise this further. Lestrade's eyes widened in surprise and admiration. You're incredible, Mr. Holmes. How did you deduce that? Holmes smiled enigmatically. Elementary, my dear inspector. You knew we had to end with Sherlock Holmes's famous catchphrase. So there you go. Yes, it's taken us longer to add the description between our dialogue. but. It has resulted in a far more engaging, realistic, 
and enjoyable piece of writing. Throughout our dialogue, we have moved the story forwards and given our readers more insight into our two leading characters. So, avoid those tennis rally conversations and make your dialogue more realistic and captivating to read. From now on, use action beats to show what your characters are doing and how they are reacting to the conversation. Use that ing verb technique after the dialogue tag to add some extra information. And interrupt your dialogue by adding a paragraph of narration to help you to keep moving your story plot forwards.